Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the House of Commons. I'm LD Demola, and to my right, Emma Maya Siobhan, and your Suji. House of Commons. House of Commons. Come on. <laughs> Need theme song. House of Commas. Oh yeah. Okay. Oh, remember that? House of Commas. Yeah. Today's episode, pretty important episode. Um, are you proud to be an American and your role as an American? And I will start with my brother over there to the reside. I'm gonna get right to the point. So yes, I'm proud to be an American. Yes, I love America for the great things that it does done and the great things that it has and, and what it what it is. Mm -hmm. At the same time, I'm not proud to be an American because being an American, you know in a country where our founding fathers were saying things like all men are created equal and all men were not created equal at all. Um, and you see the, the remnants of that throughout throughout the ages and throughout history. People that look like me, people, even I'm Nigerian American, so I can't even speak on that like that. But those of us who have ancestors that were here, they're not treated like Americans. They're still not treated like Americans. They're still not treated like equal people. So on one hand, on one hand I'm proud of being American because America is America. I don't even need to say anything else, but at the same time, it's still America. So it's it, for me, um, yes, I'm proud to be an American, but I'm not at the same time. So, yeah. <laughs> so you're 50-50. I'm 50-50. That's fine. Um, I would say for me, I'm, I'm proud to be an American as proud as America is of me being in this country. Um, born and raised, bred, everything about me um, is American, I guess, you know. Um, the unfortunate thing is our country was built on a lie. Mm -hmm. And when you realize that once school is over and you get into life, you realize the lie that they told you in school. But I appreciated being an American when I left the country and I was able to see how we're viewed. And I think they understood the struggle of my people mm -hmm. and how we were treated. So you could see the look on their faces, different countries I went to. Um, but I would say being outside of it, I had a greater appreciation when I was gone. But when I came back, I was, it was almost like I'm back into war again. You know, even how my luggage was handled. It was very, they were just throwing stuff around. It wasn't like delicately handled like it was in other countries. So I think being an American, because this, this country is a lie, it's all a lie. And I don't like liars. So um, unfortunately... <laughs> I'm in this country and I'm proud because it, it's, you know, I'm proud to be a black American, let's say that. Um, I feel like there's nothing like being being a black American. As far as my role in this country, I mean, that's that's kind of like, it's broad. I think, I think every role of an American is to be the best human being you can be on top of the lie. <laughs> you know, like, the unfortunate thing is our culture... <laughs> Our culture is all mixed up. It, it, I don't think that American has a... Yeah, the culture of America is slavery and, you know, bigotry and all these other things that create... That put us in this melting pot. So I feel like if you could come out of that smiling and loving each other and being the best person you can be and not stealing, robbing, and all those kinds of things, then that's your role as an American. <laughs> well, anyways... Uh. I call this place heaven and hell. Um, that's my description of America. And the reason I say that is because you as an individual, whether you might break hell, you were born here, you have a choice to either make it heaven or hell for you. Um, it's, it's all based on the choices you decide to make. Now, I wouldn't use the word proud in terms of my description whether I'm proud to be an American. I'm not proud to be an American, and I'm not even considered an American anyways. But <clears throat> with that being said, I am grateful for the fact that it is the land of the freedom. You can do whatever the heck you want to do with your life or whatever you choose to want to do. Um, that aspect of it, I'm very grateful for it. And um, at least there is some sort of order compared to where I am from. Um, even though the order has its underlying issues as well. So we don't really see it, but it does exist compared to other countries. But America is the most, how do I put it? The whole aspect of politics is fake. The whole aspect of what's marketed in terms of um, what we all believe should be happening or what we all think is right or what we all think America needs to be doing, it's really not reality. Um, and the thing I don't really like about America is they need to just stop putting their nose in every other 
person's business and pay attention to what's happening in their country. We're so big on always sticking our noses and saying we're helping, but really not helping. What we're doing is just making other countries worse. Um, the help gets there to some extent, but that's not really the goal. The goal is all exploitation of what they can get out of those other countries. But I am grateful that I live in a land that's free. I can do whatever I want to do. Um, but I wouldn't say I'm proud of being American because, one, my color is not even appreciated in this country. I'm free to move around as much as I can, but in terms of getting to where I need to get to, I am faced with obstacles because of what I am, black. So, mm, when you look at my last name, you won't be asking, you won't be telling me I'm an American. Anyways, you'll be asking me where am I from. When I speak, I have an accent. So, I live in America, but I'm not American, and I am not proud to be an American. So, there you have it. I'm proud to be an American, or at least, yes, I'm proud to be an American. Zero to a hundred percent. I'm a hundred percent proud to be an American because my role as an American, as she said, is to be the best person for the rest of the world. I always challenge people who say things about America. Now, keep in mind, those who've never experienced outside of America, I don't put you in this in this scenario because you don't know any other experience outside of the experience you have in the United States of America. I challenge anybody, anyone, anybody <laughs> to live outside of America. I challenge you a hundred percent. I am not saying America is the greatest place in the world, but one thing I hear a lot from people who complain about America is that America is heaven and hell. Where in this world is not? Well, I mean, I where on earth is not because one thing I hear a lot, and I want us to go into this a lot. Yeah, bro, we need to. I like to. one one thing that I hear all the time, especially from my Afrocentric brothers mm. and sisters, mm -mm. is that back then in the African days, as if it was Eureka, yeah, mm. as if it was heaven, as if utopia, you know what I'm saying? Utopia, as if it was, nah. as if there was not have and have nots. Every single place you look in the oh, history yeah. of Earth, right? Now, I am not saying America is innocent of anything, no, but the benefits, the resources, and the advantages you have as an American is why you should be more responsible for the outside world because of how much energy we take as a nation from the outside. It is your responsibility as an American to give it back to the rest of the world. Why? Because an American is able to reward themselves every day for nothing. You can go to the mall and buy whatever you want with whichever credit card you want. You play the game as well as an American without considering the evils that that might draw from the rest of the world. Mm -hmm. For example, and I'm going to let y'all talk, right? I worked at a company where they made corporate for furniture for, you know, corporations like Disney and things mm -hmm. that sort. The wood came from like somewhere in the, you know, Amazon or whatever. All the parts came from other parts of this world. Right. The resources that the, came from other parts mm -hmm. of this world. To produce these things, right? Let's say a table cost, let's say five dollars, right? It was sold mm -hmm. at four hundred dollars, mm -hmm. right? It's America. It's America. People bought it on fake money, credit, mm -hmm. right? Right. So the actual cost is a tree is lost, right? Somewhere in this world. Mm -hmm. Somebody got paid three cents to cut that tree down, mm -hmm. right? The American bought the table plus three ninety five dollars, right? That is American money magic that just happened. The issue is that three ninety five becomes real money out of fake existence of nothing, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. The American goes shopping constantly for these things without actually having any real money. Right. Yet the American tells me how bad America is exactly. when you do the same exact thing every day. Mm -hmm. The person overseas has three shoes that they need. You have 30 shoes that you want mm -hmm. as an American. Yet Americans constantly mm -hmm. tell me how bad America is when you play the same exact game every day. Can I say something? <laughs> Can I say something? Yeah. Um, to your point, and I think um, to specify, and I think I was I was kind of clear to a little bit in the beginning. When I say that I, I feel two sided about America, it's it's I'm, when I say I'm very proud of America, it's for a lot of the things that he's saying. Um, and when I say I'm displeased with America, it's because of the, the, the obvious things that are going on every day that you see. That's why I'm not happy with America because I can't be proud of 
you know the things that are happening that also to this point are happening everywhere else but mm -hmm. when you when you see it being targeted to your own it's a little bit different but mm -hmm. that's Perfect. but you know it, it's yeah it's a little different but it's still something that's relative i mean dude i mean just i don't i hate to use nigeria as another example okay. where you do not want to go to nigeria on certain <coughs> certain certain circumstances just is not cool and there's no judge and there's no jury no they're just going to just decide for you what's going to you can be your no. fate. So this is this is just a thing. I also wanted to uh, to say regarding the financial aspect of it. Um, I think that yes, a lot of people are are very very irresponsible with their money, and um, I don't want to veer off to the top off the topic too much. But I think the reason why that's also happening as well is because you know we probably talked about it before, but people are so lost when it comes to what's really going on. Most people are not financially literate at all. Mm -hmm. Most people don't understand what the system is doing at all. Mm -hmm. Most people don't don't really get what's really going on and how the money that they're using and they're getting from their job that they're giving back out to the system, how these things work and how they're not benefiting. A lot of people have also have elected to give into the system and say, you know what, I've lost anyways. So let me just go and spend and enjoy my life and just do how I please, mm -hmm. which is also very irresponsible, which they will also pay for in the uh, long run. In the long run Somebody literally can. and, and monetarily. Mm -hmm. So these are the things that I I, I notice that I you know I, I, I can understand where you're coming from, but it also is very frustrating for me. At what, and we can also talk about this as well. Is lastly is for such a great country, and um, for for a country that is is done so well, because I have done tried to do the same tasks in other countries, and it's not the same. And as organized as it is, as, as great as it is for things. For things to be the way they are, it's partially our fault, but at the same time, there, it could be a lot better for us here in this country. And I think that's where a lot of our frustration comes from. Lastly, things are relative as well. So, like you said, if you haven't left, I've, I've been in a situation where I have to take a shower out of a bucket. This is there's no option where I'm not going to go to a hotel. This is this is my lifestyle at this moment in time. So when you have left the the amenities of America and you and you see where like no mosquito, you're just living life smooth, then you know the difference. But when you've been living this life and then somebody tries to take away from you what you've known your whole life. I was born in 1986. The best time of America was 1990s. So if you if you take that time, all I've seen, all I've seen was a good, maybe like eight years of good America. The rest of it was garbage. Mm -hmm. So I, I, so I guess my I guess my, my point being is if you grew up in that time period and you saw that coming up and your parents told you one thing, then you grew up in, a, in an era where We've been post recession, no money, um, barely any jobs, barely opportunities. Everything is hiking up. You're you're gonna get frustrated, and that's why mm -hmm. people are getting pissed off with America. Mm -hmm. I think that's why people are like I want to get the fuck out, or I'm tired of America. Plus, all other things are going on with the decisions that we made in the last ten years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I think I think it's the system. I think as I as I've gotten older and more into like the design of stuff. I feel like when you when you get out and live and you understand like how much gas costs and mm -hmm. you know how much you know oil changes and how much the bus is like all these things and you start to understand like oh that's what that means. I think the system, the design of it wasn't where where we are now. You know what I mean? Like mm -hmm. right, right, dare right, I right, use right. the word capitalism, but mm -hmm. the design was for all they created equal <laughs> mm -hmm. was for everybody to this was the land of the free right so they promoted that mm -hmm. but there was a system that they put in place of course right so in the system it was like oh, oh, oh. i grew up in the 80s mm -hmm. early 80s mm -hmm. when that drug game happened mm -hmm. and i noticed how ray ray and raheem and you know kerbo and all of them was making millions of dollars. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. That wasn't a part of the American system. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, oh, oh. Mm -hmm. that's that's not what we intended to happen. Mm -hmm. You know, they took something and created something, and now we're eating and living and driving and doing everything that those people are doing. Mm -hmm. So then they had to flanagle it somehow to say, oh no 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 no, war on drugs. <clears throat> now mind you, that's a lie because mm -hmm. if it's war on drugs, then there shouldn't be pharmaceuticals because that's the biggest drug game mm -hmm. in the world, mm -hmm. right? But it's war on drugs because now the black and brown and, and the le the least of them are starting to understand how to flip money and, and, and have businesses mm -hmm. and you know stuff like that. So having grown up and seeing that, I started net knowing what I know now at my age. It's like, wow, well, it's amazing how when you try to live life on the system, mm -hmm. 
you know, because this is supposed to work for you because that's mm -hmm. the whole point of it. Right. You, you educate yourself, and you don't necessarily have to educate yourself in school. You can learn from the street mm -hmm. or learn, you know, Shows. exactly. Mm -hmm. and, and things aren't given to you, but it's that building is, 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 is for, for sale. Yeah. So let me get, exactly. So I think that the system was designed for everybody to create their own white picket fence in their corner of the world. Mm -hmm. And in other countries, the unfortunate thing is that our country used other countries to make certain things happen. Mm -hmm. You know, sort of like what Emma was saying, like how, you know, um, I lost my train of thought, sorry, how uh, America creates this, oh, we're going to come help you. You know, my godmom, she's Dominican, and I remember she told me the story that when she first saw an American soldier, mm -hmm. like they leveled her village, like leveled it. Mm -hmm. And the next weekend, it was a whole new city. Mm -hmm. She said she had never seen that happen, but America came in, and now, you know, her dad was in the Navy, so... Her family was protected under this, like, you know, whatever mm -hmm. that regime thing was. But she said, I've never seen that happen. She mm -hmm. said, oh, so when she came to America, she was like, oh, this is what they do if mm -hmm. you build up countries. Yet at the same time, they were using everybody else to make them, mm -hmm. you know, which is now the bottom is <coughs> dropped. Mm -hmm. So I feel like the, the, the pride in being an American has dwindled in a way. Like I have mm -hmm. friends that live in Japan and live in other, other countries mm -hmm. and, and they have signs that say no Americans. Mm -hmm. And if you go to Japan, you don't look like them, so they already know. Exactly. It doesn't exactly. even matter where you're right. from, no. you're, you're considered an American. But mm -hmm. the fact that you can go to another country and there's a sign on a restaurant that says no Americans and they're not playing, mm -hmm. like that's, that lets you know the climate of that crowd to be an American thing. So I think we just use and abuse other countries. Mm -hmm. I, I feel like that wasn't necessarily the design maybe, but they had to change it up because the black and brown people started to like make it, you know? Can I ask a question? Are you going to say something? Mm, go ahead and ask What? It's the United States of America, right? Mm -hmm. What unites the states? Money. Okay. Well, actually, do some history. So, like, all the. Or, like, oh my god, it becomes a geek in me. When the 13 colonies were happening, when the. When the um, having lived in two of the 13 colonies, they used certain crops and certain things so it wasn't really economic it was more like the cotton was down in the south and then you had like in the midwest that was like kind of more native american um before they went to california for the gold rush and that mm -hmm. kind of stuff in new york and like michigan and all those like northern tobacco, states tobacco. right tobacco was more in the south but they yeah. used the like um that was like uh making cars my, my uncle worked at the like the oil refineries and stuff like that. Like that was kind of up there. So that was more industrial. That's the word I was looking for. So they used all those different states to create, you know, okay, we're going to get the crops from there, you know, and then Miami had whatever they had. And then uh, like South Carolina, North Carolina, Texas, the Bible Belt, those kinds of places. That's where they got a lot of the crops from. So it, it wasn't really economic money wise. That's but it was yeah. money. Well, it is, but I think it was, more, it was a trade. I guess I'm looking at the resource, the resource yeah. part of it. But, but, it was, all, it was but that was the barter system, barter too. System. Yeah. That's still an economy. Yeah. Well, I wish we'd go back to that. Yeah, that's that's, that's yeah. still an economy. Yeah. But now, I'm the saying, question yeah, is, so yeah. in other, as Nigerians, mm -hmm. right? Or as Japanese people, or as Germans, mm -hmm. what unites them? Oh, Language. gosh. Culture. Well, culture, you to say culture, yeah, language. for language. sure. For Family. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Now, maybe I'm just living from the outside, I don't know. I haven't been to the Bible Belt, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Of course, America has families. Mm -hmm. But what unites the states in America is mm -hmm. blood. It's that cash. Cash. Cash over. That's Money. the point. Yeah. And the reason why you look at other nations and it seems like they have more human yeah. connection yeah. than the United States of America, from my perspective, I could be wrong, is because before money, they are connected by stories. Mm -hmm. Right, right. In America, you are connected by the stories of money. Money, yeah. The foundation is always capitalism. Yeah. yeah. It is always the end result yeah. financially, mm -hmm. right. right? That is why slaves were brought here to work for free and things yeah. of that sort. The only reason why it looks really bad in the United States of America, because it is pretty bad in the United States of America, and it's kind of soulless a lot of times, yeah. is because the only story is money. Money, yeah. It does not mean it's not the same thing going on everywhere else. Yeah. There's always the haves and have-nots. Yeah. And the haves are always going to find a way to stay haves and to keep the have-nots. Yeah. Have-nots. It happens everywhere on earth. I was going to ask really quick. Do you think that maybe other countries, it could be religion though too? Because I've noticed like, 
a lot of times, like in like Indian stuff, there's the caste system. So a lot of, I mean, obviously the color, but it's religion that separates, you know, mm -hmm. people. Well, well, that's what puts you in a certain bracket. Oh, yeah. Like in Senegal, there's Christian and Muslim. There's different reasons why, but all you know I'm what saying I mean? is, but it's it's the I'm responsibility good. placed on America yeah. is not given to other parts of the world that are doing the same thing. Yeah. It's just magnified in America because we do it really, really bad. Right, yeah. and the only story we have is money, but everywhere else. Now, let me give a perspective, and I want to make sure it's clarified. The African American story is very unique mm -hmm. because you worked and were given nothing. Yeah. Maybe so you right. have every reason mm -hmm. to not be proud to be an American yeah. because not only did you work for free, based on what I've read and I've right. seen in history, right. you worked for free, you got nothing. Mm -hmm. You the, there's a system that keeps you. Yeah. Enslaved, yeah. because when we take fifty percent of your household, yeah, or your 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 men, yeah. to jail, you look at Chicago. The, yeah, you're, it's not working for you in this yeah. country. Period. Right. right. But to those of us who have experienced outside of the United States of America, mm -hmm. when a Nigerian is talking to me as if Nigeria is actually the greatest place to live on Earth based on what we do to ourselves. Mm -hmm. When somebody from another part of this world is bashing the United States of America from the United States of America, you hardly hear them bashing America from where they are over there. <laughs> it's, it hardly that happens, right? When you're here though, it's very easy to just pick can, up can everything I, that can, we do can wrong I, in this can country. I, can I show something real What real? about home? Can I, show, can I show something down real quick? <laughs> I mean, that's I've, fair. I've, 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 been to all different obviously you've done the same thing you've been to all different parts of Nigeria mm -hmm. you've seen the lowest you've seen probably the highest mm -hmm. you've seen the people who have all the money in the world mm -hmm. they got what we call Ghana must go if you've seen Ghana must go is a, a hand sack bag you've seen it, it's like it's red hand sack, bro. It's, it's a like, luggage it's a luggage <laughs> it's luggage full of cash and not naira dollars not one dollar bills hundred dollar bills three by three bro three, okay yeah and you'll see people have this kind of cash. I've been around them. I've been around the lowest. I've been around the in-between. I've been around whatever. I still prefer America. Let me explain why. Let me explain why. There's this misconception. There's this thought that, oh, because, because okay, okay, VGC, for example. VGC is a very, very rich area in Nigeria, on the island. In Lagos, yeah. In Lagos, right? Mm -hmm. Very big, very rich area. At the end of the day, when I'm out there, the money that I'm seeing that's being moved around is not Nigerian money. Mm -hmm. It's not African money. Mm -hmm. It's money from the person that's down the street, that person a soccer player from some other country mm -hmm. playing soccer for whatever distance. The other person is doing something. The other person is coming in. They're finding this in America. Mm -hmm. So it's all an illusion to me anyways because the, not, I'm not saying everybody that's, that's living that lifestyle is not from Nigeria or didn't build the money from Nigeria, but the stream of income is not from Nigeria. I want Emma to talk I because she made a statement. with the aspect of... Go ahead. But you guys are speaking from Nigeria. I've been to Nigeria mm -hmm. and I've seen the hardship of Nigeria. Right. In every country, you're going to have the lowest of the lowest. You're uh -huh. going to have the middle and the high. Absolutely. I, if you're watching this from Africa, I don't encourage you to try to come to America. Honestly, if your life is good and you're doing great. Now, if you're living a life whereby you're struggling, scraping, and some days you don't even know what you're going to eat, then this is the land of opportunity if you can make it here. But what I will say is this. Life in Africa is not horrible if you're financially okay. Um, I mean, of course, if you don't have money and you come from a family that isn't so financially okay, then the struggles are real. Mm -hmm. And there's absolutely nothing wrong with you sticking to wanting to come to America to make it better. But I can tell you, you coming to America, it's not going to be easy either. It doesn't mean life is just going to Absolutely get not. Um, but I don't agree with the fact that life in America mm -hmm. is greater compared to Africa, it is on some on some levels. Okay. On the level on the fact that, of course, if you're a child or a human being mm -hmm. or anybody in Africa and you don't have it, life is hell in Africa. But if you're okay, meaning financially, if you have money in Africa, life is good. Can because there isn't a, a system that keeps you 
in a stressful mode. Yes, there is. No, there isn't. Because when you buy your house in Africa, your house is your house. When you have your car, your car is your car. You're yeah. not paying insurance. Now, there are some things that I do disagree with in terms of the order and organization of Africa. But that is the blame of the corrupt leaders that we have. And when is that going to change? Lord knows. It took America 200 years and corruption still does exist here. The only difference is here. It happens on the under the, the map but when it comes out it comes out and they get punished for it in africa in terms of them getting punishment i don't know when that's going to happen because there's so much cor corruption in terms of that aspect living in, in africa can be a little difficult because there isn't order there isn't any rules and regulations in place everyone just does whatever they want to do the rich feels like they have more power so in, in cases like that yeah but i personally yeah, some of you might be saying, why are you in America? Well, I'm in America because all my damn family is in America. I'm like, what the heck am I going to go back to Africa to? Um, but I did want to come here, honestly. And, and some people might say, why are you just fronting that? I told my mom and my dad, I didn't want to come here. Because the, the thing is, people paint America to be this picture of when you come here, life is going to be great. Mm -hmm. But when you come here, life isn't so great, especially if you're an immigrant. Let me just paint it to you that way. You're starting from ground bottom. If you're an adult in Africa, you already have your education, you have your small job, and you're working, you're surviving. I mean, I, I, I know sometimes things aren't easy, but push as best as you can in Africa. But coming here, you're starting from ground zero, and you, you might not even make it halfway. Because if you don't have the papers, honey, you're not making any money. You might be working some cash flow job, but mm, the chances of that happening is... So, all I am saying to those that are watching this from Africa, if your life is okay, if your life is good, um, and you're, you're doing great, please push it to come to America. It's not what people paint it to be. It's really not what people paint it to be. I don't, I, I don't like to market that aspect of it. It is, it is a land of opportunity. It's a land of opportunity if you come with the right papers. It's not a land of opportunity it's so great for you if you come without the damn papers. I mean, I'm just saying. So, Can I ask you a question? Yeah. You mentioned if you have money in Africa. Let me ask you two questions. If you have money in Africa, life is okay. If you have money anywhere on earth, right. life what, is okay. But I'm saying that's Africa because that's where I'm from. Cool. And I'm saying everywhere on earth, if you have the resources, mm -hmm. obviously life is great. Now let me ask you another but question. But having money in Africa and having money in America... It's the same thing. It's, it's a little different because... Not really. The system in America is a whole. It depends on what you do. It depends on what you do, and it depends on the role you play with your life. But let me ask you another question: What is the percentage of haves in Africa? Mm. Talk to me. I mean, okay, I it's not that high. Well, I want a percentage, Mama. I, I, I want a ratio. Africa is it one to nine out of ten? Countries. So okay, and you the haves. A percentage. I don't know the. The percentage. haves in Africa. Because you said, if you have money in Africa, life is great. Life is great if you I didn't want to the percentage. And I just said, anywhere on earth, if you have the resources, everywhere around obviously the world, we life can is take great. the percentage of those that have money. We America can do that in America. is a melting pot of everyone. We can do that in America. And I can guarantee you, so, I can guarantee you in the United States of America, right? Mm -hmm. Because, again, as I started, I said, because of how much we take from the rest of the world, right. it is our responsibility to give back. Mm -hmm. A lot of Americans don't understand what we take from the rest of the world that makes the rest of the world poor, right? Yeah. Because in America, if we look at the ratio, maybe it's just because I've lived in the cities all my life. Mm -hmm. If you look at the ratio, and again, I mentioned, the African American is kind of excluded from this conversation mm -hmm. because they have been bashed by America, yeah. 100%. But if you look at the ratio of haves and have-nots, and when I'm saying have-nots, I'm talking about the fact that I am middle class, consider myself a have-not, but I have light mm -hmm. constantly when I pay for it. Right? right? Because again, right. I know we want to bash capitalism, but the good side of capitalism yeah, is this, right? Yeah. So I want to know, based on ratio-wise, because I can say in the United States of America, if you work and you make $8, at least you can have a roommate that also makes $8, another person that makes $8, that's, that's and habit. you live, hold up, hold up, you have light. That's having. Again, you heard me mention yeah, that's why I said in well, Africa, the what is the exactly what, what is the quote, what is the ratio yeah, that's in Africa? Well, what is the ratio in Mexico? What is the ratio in the Philippines of the haves and have nots? I promise you, because of what the United States of America takes from the rest of the world, they don't have shit. Can I get can is I why I say as an American, because of how much you take from the rest of the world, you have to realize your responsibility is the rest of the world. Right. Because <laughs> you've taken. Because you've taken. Yeah. So damn much. You know, um, <clears throat> we talked about, I think, we, I don't know if we discussed this before. Um, 
Las Vegas is America is a miniature version of what we're talking about. If you've gone to Las Vegas, Nevada, thank you. The outside of Las, Las Vegas, Nevada is literally ghost town. Yeah, it's cheap. It's very it's it's, it's very desolate. Mm -hmm. Now there's some other parts of Las Vegas like Henderson and uh, maybe some I don't know all the other neighborhoods, but there are other parts of Las Vegas that have people who are living there that would probably work on the strip or work in other parts of um, Nevada. But for the most part, once you leave the strip, you'll see a lot of homelessness. You'll see a lot of uh, drugs. You see a lot of um, bad school systems. Mm -hmm. It's just not this the the city. The strip has drained and sucked dry mm -hmm. everything around that area. That's a very good analogy. So mm -hmm. I think that we need to just be aware of these kind of things. Now, when you go to Las Vegas, oh, we in Las Vegas. We in here. We in Vegas. Okay. Vegas is a great to place to be. Can I just add what you said? In Vegas, because I've also told you, America. Is a big Las Vegas. Yeah. Is what I always say. Yeah. Because, and I'm gonna mention two things. You mentioned it sucked the rest of the city it's dry. Dry, yeah. Right? Yeah. Those who go to Las Vegas irresponsibly yeah. lose. Lose, Las exactly. Vegas. Yeah, exactly. Big. Americans yeah. who are irresponsible lose in America. Yeah, exactly. It's a fact. So I wanna say something to the camera. And I like that she said, if you're an African thinking coming to America as your savior, it's not the case at all. That's America true, is man. tough, yeah. right? But in life, right, there's something that my grandmother always told me. My grandfather always told me, slow and steady wins the race. Yeah. Patience, blah, blah, blah. I'm sorry to tell you, humanity is not patient, especially since they now market things to us. Yeah. Don't tell me Nigerians don't want good things. Yeah. Don't tell me we don't spend stupidly oh on a bunch of dumb stuff. Yeah, Africans, yeah. Mexicans, everybody does it, right? Mm. But we always want to blame America because it's convenient, because that is the pretty girl in the room right. that everybody can target but we forget our role yeah. as Americans and another thing is because of how much we take right it's becoming it, it's it, America is becoming a villain right oh, and the reason why America is around the world yeah. and the reason why America is a villain is not because of Americans is because of what the powers that be the real financial yeah. holders yeah. are able to do to the rest of the world mm -hmm. supported by Cashola. Americans. Oh, okay. Because we also file bankruptcy. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah. We also finance cars. We we do. That's we, the system which goes back to the system. system. Exactly. Yeah. So it's tools. not just America. But the system was in place to. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. But if which, you go to Las Vegas, right, and you and you only have a thousand dollars to play with, mm -hmm. but you go there, I want. A, a, a fat Tuesday. I want mm -hmm. two tacos. I'm trying to eat all the food. Matter of fact, I'm putting 300 down on on, on second and 12. And that's how you're playing. You just blowing all your money. That's your business. Ain't nobody tell you to go to Vegas mm -hmm. and blow all your money. Mm -hmm. You gotta play all your money. You could have played mm -hmm. 20 dollars down on the table and walked away. Can I ask you a question? But that goes to the freedom aspect of America, right? Mm -hmm. Right. You have the right to do whatever the heck mm -hmm. you wanna do. Mm -hmm. So, so it's the their money. They're the one working for it. So if they wanna blow it, blow it. So, but don't blame the system. Because the system I is going to be there. I don't blame I don't the system. system. No, the, I'm just saying. for that. I don't blame the system I mean, people that. shouldn't blame the system for their failures. Mm -hmm. Because it's a decision that you make. Mm -hmm. Right, of course. Yeah. So now, let me ask you this question. As far as the haves in Africa, the haves in Mexico, the haves in the Philippines, the haves in... What do the haves do to make life easier for the have-nots in Africa? No, they can't. Uh, okay. They we, can't? we we can't say that they, they can't they can help the they can help to some extent that they are able to but we are talking about corruption in Africa I mean like just because someone has money doesn't mean they have power to some extent they do but there is still someone that has more power than them of course but it's so it's levels to everything you, you there are levels to everything so you I mean my parents have helped as much as they can good so it's I can only citizens. speak from that experience percentage of people who do that. It's not so okay, let me make it let me because make it selfishness exists. Exactly, is my point. And selfishness exists here too. How many Americans are helping the homeless? What, I see homeless I people say? every day. What did I just say? Yeah. It happens yeah. everywhere on earth. But again, people target America as the only place when it happens I, everywhere I in humanity. People, uh, uh, I, I, I just <laughs> to say something, but also one thing I want to say is that I, I feel the problem is when we have put America on this pedestal mm -hmm. of being this great, amazing country, which in relation to other countries, it really is. The thing about it is I have this expectation, I have this belief this is such a great country. Then when you when we see this country day to day as Americans, looking at what's happening to us every day as an American, yes, yes, things are, you know, we as in comparison to other you know, <coughs> things are good. 
for the, for the most part compared to other countries because other countries are in constant battle and war day to day. Mm -hmm. There's no calm moments. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I think. Damn, I lost my train of thought. <laughs> let me, let me, let me. I was gonna say okay. if you pick it up, just let me know. Mm -hmm. I was gonna say that um, compared to other countries, I think it's the opportunity that we're afforded in America, mm -hmm. but from. You wanna go? I was just gonna say that that thing is because we know how we know we 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 know how not necessarily know how great America is, but with all the hype and all the the stuff that we talk about America, it does live up to it. But at the same time, when you live it day to day, it's frustrating, and you want more, you want better, and it could be better. And it's and I think that's the frustrating part because everybody's saying America, 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 but people here in America are saying America is great, but this is the things that are going on that I don't like. To his point. This is that's happening everywhere, and the the, the saddest part about it is, with the, the, you know, it's hard to people that tell me I want to move to this place, Denmark or wherever you're trying to go to Norway. That's cool, but like you were saying, you're gonna go there, they don't the language issue or mm -hmm. the foreigner issue. And at the end of the day, I haven't been to too many countries, but I I've, I've been a little bit here and there in Europe. I've been in Africa. I've been to other places. It's there's no place like from what I've seen. There's no place like this place. But I think the frustration is when you know that this place can be much better. And we talk about how if you take a five-year-old from America, right? Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, and, put and them, take him to Nigeria, them, to and then flip it. So yeah. when we know that we have this kind of morality, when we have it, I mean, I mean, any human being you put them in a very dark position, they, you know, they're probably gonna do the bad thing, but. Americans have been groomed in a sense to, to do the right thing in, in most in certain situations if there's in a certain way no, no, no. Well, Compare I'm, compared I'm, to other can places. I ask you, can I ask you okay. Hold on. Sir, you were going to say something? Go, Go ahead. ahead. I'm sorry. Go ahead. I was going to say uh, As far as like being in other countries like this, this is the land opportunity that I'm mm -hmm. saying like I think that's what people gravitate to like mm -hmm. I have the ability to do something with myself and not be under you know, the iron fist of this corrupt government or whatever. Now, mind you, our government looks clean, but mm -hmm. that's the illusion that we've created yeah. from day one, mm -hmm. right? But what I will say is those that I know that have come from other countries, i.e. Africa, mm -hmm. um, Australia, mm -hmm. and Tokyo, I think, and they lived in the States, they could not wait to get back. Mm -hmm. Because, as my friend, and I use his term a lot, it's the hamster wheel. Mm -hmm. Like, it doesn't matter how much education you have, like money just depletes quicker than you get it mm -hmm. but in other countries it goes longer and i mm -hmm. think that's what emma was saying mm -hmm. like she would much rather like like your dollar goes way longer mm -hmm. in other countries than it does here Can right I ask a question? so wait a minute mm -hmm. and, and and as you live life and get older and start to understand the quality of life becomes a little more 3d mm -hmm. and it's like okay america's all about you know marketing and this and this more 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 mm -hmm. more but I have a friend that just moved to Australia what a year ago mm -hmm. she already bought her house mm -hmm. she works for the government she's been working for the she has a, she has a diplomatic passport right mm -hmm. but she worked for Microsoft and all these other places here in the States mm -hmm. smart as a whip right mm -hmm. moved to Australia has a house and she's working on like this back house where does she I'm, work she works for the government she where, where did she work here um she worked in IT but she did like, where was she she was in three different ones she was in DC she was in Oklahoma. She was in. And they kind of bounced her around. Oklahoma? She could not afford a house in Oklahoma. No, her mom. No, no, her mom. She, her mom bought a but, house. But the thing, I'm, no, no, no. But she. Because <laughs> I'm about to say, thing, like, no, 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 no. Because her, her job moved a lot, so she didn't okay. want to. But the point is, is that she's only been there to be year September. Mm -hmm. That she's been in, um, in Australia, right? Mm -hmm. Mind you, that's that country's kind of mixed up with a whole bunch of different. People, they have whatever. their issues. As I mean, well. everyone does. But okay. my point is that I'm saying is that. She's already purchased her home. She mm -hmm. got this like stupid little Jeep thing. You know, mm -hmm. just something to kind of get her from here to there. Mm -hmm. But when her her life is changed. You, you see what I'm saying? Like her dollar, she can send money home and like mm -hmm. her her brother has like nine kids. So mm -hmm. she like helps him out. But the point is is that I guess my question would be, why is it that people who flip, who go from one country, come here, they can't wait to go back, or those who are able to go back, go to because other countries. Like, you know, their $1,000 goes way longer than, you know, your 4000 here in the States. That's right. what, I just want to add one more quick thing. Uh, okay. Um, <laughs> just, just one quick thing. I just want to just, to your story. Do you know the taxes in Australia? Yeah, no. I'm just leaving. But I'm just saying. I know what you're saying. Me, but, I know what you're saying. Just, just to Trust add, I know. I feel you. What she's doing is 
this is the thing about it is when I was talking about moving, I, I, I at a point was like, I want to move out of the country. I want to start doing things and, and get the hell out of here. Mm -hmm. And then I woke up and I was like, I'm not going any damn way. And then this is the reason. This is the, this is the reason why, and I'm gonna tell you guys why. Um, the reason, like as a friend went to Australia, um, it's still an American uh, stream of income that's coming to yeah, put the money one. Yeah. So yeah. it's 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 still the opportunity of America that's still poking its is pretty ugly head. Once Period. Again. So it's America giving you diplomatic passes. Yeah. But let me ask you. Let me ask you. Let me ask you, let me ask you, let me ask you a real question though, because I used. We both use the analogy of Vegas yeah. and, you know, <laughs> and the United States of America yeah. as a whole. Yeah. I don't know about y'all. I can't do more than two days in Las Vegas. Oh my God, I'm, I'm dead. Because oh. everything is too much. It's yeah. too much. Now, oh God. What do you think America is? Too America much. is the same thing. Now, I just want to say, if you did not know that America was a business, sorry. Yeah. If you accept America for what it is, yeah. capitalism and a business, you will find yourself living quite okay because, number one, if you monitor and you play your position, yeah. I am not talking about the negative sides mm -hmm. because America does have some unfair ass shit, yeah. right? Yeah. But hey, I'm just gonna be real, right? There's a book called Who Moved My Cheese? Mm -hmm. I don't know if you read it. Simple book, elementary freaking vocabulary, but it is about a mace and cheese and mice, right? Whenever you move the, the, the when you put the cheese here, right? Day one, I think this is how the story goes. The mouse goes to that same cheese, mm -hmm. right? You leave it here again the second day, it goes back there again. If you move the cheese here, mm -hmm. the mouse goes there and it starts looking for exactly where the cheese is. Humanity, Americans, this is what we do. We buy a house that is $400,000 and you make $60,000 a year mm -hmm. and you act as if that is your house, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. The house is here, you go there, right? If situations change, mm -hmm. you act as if it was yours in the first place. It was not yours. Mm -hmm ever in your life. Yeah. Even when you pay off a house in America, it's still not yours. Because if somebody sues you, it's gone. Those are the unfair <laughs> parts of it. <laughs> That's why I owe it. But in the United States of America, well, keep in mind, in the same United States of America, there's always a financial plan to keep things secure. So if somebody can sue you to lose your house, there's also a system that somebody can sue you and not get your house. Yeah. There's always these financial yeah. benefits that we all benefit from. There are lawyers who go to school who become lawyers to sue people to eat and feed their children. Yeah. Yes, it's, it's, it's a fact. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody does it. Another question I have is, what other country is as, let's be real, as accepting to the outsiders as the United States of America? There's no, there's no, there's no other places. Not, not this Please good. name it. Not, not this good. It. Not please this, name it. Not this good of a country, no. And if you know what no. you're getting into coming to America, yeah. you can live a fair life. The woman who could not afford a house, maybe she was living in New York. Guess what? Who moved my cheese? You can live in Arizona. See, now this is Oklahoma. Thing. What? You can get a cheap property said, in America. That one said it's really fast, but I want you to slow it down real quick for us. If you know what you're getting in exactly. to America, exactly. A lot of people come here. Because they look at TV. Don't know what they're getting into. They paint this picture like America is like. Oh, you get here, you gotta get rich. Milk of honey, which it is though. Exactly. It is. Yes, it is. It's like it is. It's not, but it is at the same time. It's not the way we used to think of it. Not that picket fence like that, but it can be. It can be. It is, bro. Immigrants. We have to when when you speak on the level of someone migrating here, it, it just it, it doesn't happen. It's that. way harder. Absolutely. Come on. Absolutely. I mean, if, if, if you don't, that's if you ever even granted the damn papers. Which okay. is why so can, I, can, I, can, I, can I can I can I can I add to that? Which quick. is why I said, as an American, your job is to be a resource to the rest of the world. Because the reason why it's hard to come to America, if you think of why do people keep wanting to come to America? Because of how much of nothing there is where they're coming from. Okay. Because of how much we've taken. If. So our responsibility as Americans is, if I ask you a simple question, would you rather live in an $800,000 house if you could afford it, mm -hmm. or would you live in a $400,000 house and give that $400,000 to someone? I promise you, yeah. nine times out of one million times 110, an American or nowhere else in this world is yeah. doing that brand. Yeah. Everybody's looking for their own comfort. Country, it is yeah. a fact. Everybody's playing for keeps. Everybody's so I, playing think, for I, keeps. I think I mean, the, 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 the gap is closing though. That like, is getting, like, I'm, because I'm it's getting rough and they're yeah, realizing. Because of the system <laughs> that they, they keep changing the system and they keep 
manipulating the gap of poverty is getting close in America. Yeah, like like as far as that person, she said people the are not giving doing aspect. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Like the eight hundred thousand uh, dollar house versus the four hundred thousand mm -hmm. dollar house. Um, getting it or giving the four hundred. I mean, the gap in that before, like during the Bush eras, both mm -hmm. of them. It was way no. Yeah, Americans I mean? are becoming more human. But now, right, Absolutely. right, right. Yeah. So I think it's we're looking at each other more like, you know, we all out here struggling. Mm -hmm. You know, right, right, right. Or you know that kind of thing. Before. The bottom is still dying off, though. Yeah. Those at the bottom are still. But off. I, I feel that they're dying because it's various reasons. Chicago. You know, like sometimes you, as my mom always says, like when you get older, like you. If you're a little kid, you grow up, you whatever. Mm -hmm. You have to start to see the error of stuff. Mm -hmm. You know, like there's wisdom in there. Maybe a little bit. Some of us have a lot, some of us have a little bit. Mm -hmm. But you see things and you have to create your own existence, even through chaos and mayhem. Mm -hmm. right. Because your foreparents did that. Mm -hmm. And they went through way worse. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a whole other conversation. But I think as long as you go out and get something, you mm -hmm. got to get something. Mm -hmm. The ability to go out and get something, which is mm -hmm. why that five-year-old leaving Nigeria, leaving you know any country in Africa, mm -hmm. comes to the states mm -hmm. in six months. He has a business because he understands. Mm -hmm. Okay, hold on. What What's going on like, here? Like, oh, you mean to tell me all I have to do is get some lemons off that tree and cut it down yeah. and make a thing? That's 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 yeah. a different can mentality. I, I, but I'm I, saying so. It's 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 a it's a mm -hmm. thinking of it. Can I say something to to, uh, uh, to Emma's point in a sense? Um. Now, if you ask me, though, this is this is not that's what I'm saying. Different depends on the perspective you're coming from. On a nine to five day work week, right, Monday through Friday. Mm -hmm. If you ask me on Thursday, three p.m., right, not not Friday, <laughs> Thursday. I have to go to work tomorrow. Thursday, three p.m. Or how about Sunday night, eight p.m. You ask me, what would I rather be doing? Or what would I rather be? Would I rather be in the village right now, mm -hmm. living that simple life, mm -hmm. where I know the food is going to come, I wake up in the morning this thing, I know that on a 24-hour period, my stress levels are not going to be that high. Mm -hmm. I understand where that person may be coming from. They say, okay, Nigeria may be a better place. From that, from that perspective, my own, but I have my own village still, my own compound, in a sense, may make a little bit more sense at that point, from that moment. But when I look at the grand scheme of things, it's right. It's still on the United States. Can I ask you? Can I say something? Right? Can I, can I, but I just I understand what you're saying when you remove the stresses in life because even if you have a, it's not about the money though. You know, it's, it's the, not about the money. It's about the opportunity and it's about the the quality and the way of life. But for you to get that opportunity, but for you to get the opportunity, there's some ground roots to what you need. Mm -hmm. The opportunity just doesn't happen. Where in like America? That. If, yeah. yeah. And everywhere else. Though. If you if I gave you if I gave you five thousand dollars, right? Mm, five, I'll take the five thousand. Five thousand dollars. I okay. can build a better life. If here. I if That's, I give you no, the five thousand dollars is nothing here. And I drop ten thousand dollars is actually yeah, even mama, nothing here. Let me tell you the let truth. Let me finish. Though. Let me finish. Let's not do that. Please let me finish. finish. You are not doing nothing with five thousand dollars in Africa, bro. Let me finish. Come yeah, on, baby. It depends on finish. everyone's goal is different. It depends on what you plan on doing with. And here you can do a lot with five thousand dollars. You think five thousand dollars? Yes. If you go to Phoenix, Arizona, and your mortgage is. Six hundred dollars a month compared to living in myself. If you gave me five thousand dollars, I mean, come on, you can't do it in America. Five thousand dollars gonna last you can do it in America. That's the point. It's the quality of life, though, too. Yeah. If America so has a better quality of life than in all, uh, uh, all the places. You guys can it argue. Okay. On where you live. <laughs> if if I'm getting off the plane out of Mortola Muhammad versus getting off the plane at LAX, come on, five thousand dollars in my pocket. I'm ten times more nervous get, going to Nigeria. Are you kidding? Going. It's Why? not even a question. It's Why? because it's of not even a what question. we take from them. Why? Listen. Why are you ten times nervous? I'm um, just Okay, know. America. Uh, well, I don't even want to go. The, the Nigerian angle is just too much to explain right now. Period. But the American the angle. Nigeria least, is not the. Nigeria <laughs> it's just is way just too much to like, explain right now. Like Mama. One country out of Africa. There are other South African Africa? countries that are doing South great. Oh, of course they're doing great. You know, so. Even Africa. if it's Ghana. Okay, let me ask you this question. Even if it's South Africa, I don't care where it is. Let me ask you this question. Why are you nervous? Yeah, what makes you. What makes me nervous is because, and it's it's kind of a comparison thing, but not really though. When I get to America, I know that, okay, if I know what I'm walking into in America, there's still some sort of, some type of system where I can actually utilize this money for sure. Mm -hmm. I know for like sure. Yes, now, I know oh, for huh? sure. I'm going to this thing, they're not going to, 
there's even if they're duping me, it's not the kind of duping I'm gonna deal with yeah, in Nigeria. Yeah. Even yeah. if it's going yeah. there, it's a different ballgame. I'm not gonna go into the thing of, of corruption. Let I'm me not getting into the whole thing of corruption. Let me connect. So you say it's right trying to take from. Let me connect. Good, I right? I trust I I trust this this a little bit better than go to Nigeria because the, the uncertainty of what's going on there. Ain't, I don't trust ain't, shit over there. That's Nigeria. Ain't, ain't, she says, she says <laughs> that's Nigeria a lot, which is cute and yeah. awesome. No, I'm not saying <laughs> oh, that because, no, because, no, 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 because that talk. is Nigeria. Let me talk. I'm not saying that because, other African countries don't face that. Because Code Divine is different. Code is different too, right? Listen. Okay, cool. Right. Bruh, let me say something, right? Reality the reason reality. why I keep mentioning why Americans and people in the UK have to give back right and I keep mentioning how much we've taken mm -hmm. is because the reason why Nigerians will have to be wolves is because of what they don't have right their reality is based on our money mm -hmm. right when our money says no they die off yeah it is fact yes. whether you're in Congo whether wherever you are the the influence imperialism capitalism slavery has affected a lot of places in this world yeah, fact man. right we've been sitting down here for about an hour. The light has not flinched. Mm -hmm. Tell me about Ghana, hey. Congo. I don't care what you're talking about. Brazil, whatever it is, they're facing harder times yeah. than most Americans. It's a fact because guys, we're talking about light. We ain't talking I'm about light. Right. And the thing I'm, I'm gonna keep saying, right? We're the negative lights. side of capitalism. But if you have money, you can keep your generation. If you have money. money, I ask you a question. What is the percentage? Right. It's like point two. That can afford Come on, on. my uncle. Stop playing. My uncle is a senator in Nigeria. My uncle is a senator in Nigeria. They make they minimum. They make it minimum five something million dollars a year. When the generator is on too long, he's like, Come on. Do we want to talk about the ozone layer? Now let me but say this something. this all goes to the corruption. This goes, goes corruption to the, the of, horrible leaders that we have that are not making beings. the country better. Because all they're doing is their self-interest and stealing the money and making their own lives better. Hey. So at what point is that going to change? Mm. If, you, if you're from an it's African nation... Life is never going to be better in if Africa. You're, if you're from an African nation, you can tell me about the, what you have and all that. That's cool. If you're in an African nation that has Yoruba, Igbo, Hausa, and your main language is English. Mm -hmm. If you're from Sierra Leone, and you speak a language from somewhere else. If you're from another country, Côte d'Ivoire, and you speak whether it's French or whatever, you're from yeah. Togo, you speak French. If you don't understand how that is, you already at a loss. Right. Then I don't need to explain to you. Exactly. If you don't, if you don't even know that you are, no matter where you live on Earth, mm -hmm. you're already at a loss. Right. 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 Then I don't need to explain anything to you because. Mm -hmm. Spanish, like we already, if you read history, you know who conquered a lot of land. Yeah. We get it. And my point is, if you live on the land of the conquerors, mm -hmm. your job is to take care of those who were conquered. Right. Because, for example, a lot of Nigerians, a lot of Africans will be telling me about the resources we have. Mm -hmm. And based on the amount of people who live, the resources we produce, Right mm -hmm. is the reason why we can produce certain amounts of resources is because of capitalism and imperialism, mm -hmm. because of the technology they brought there. Mm -hmm. Fact: If it's not there, there's not that many of you living. Mm -hmm. It is just a fact, bro. So do not give me this painting of the rest of the world and just keep targeting imperialism without looking at everything. No, because the fact, saying. because you you keep saying you keep talking about if you have it in Africa. If you have it in Africa, what is if the percentage? You have if you have it in Mexico, in Cuba, leaders, if, first of all, everywhere, 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 but Africa is like up there with it. Why do you think? Because they're so stupid and ignorant. Mm, why? All they believe in is the white man's direction. What right? do you think I've been saying? Okay, so until that, I just said you're in Africa speaking until French. Until that goes away, <laughs> until that goes away, Africa. How does it go change. away? How does it go away? Okay. Who's responsible? We Who's are. responsible? The the people in the land of the conqueror is my point. But do you know what we do? Do you know what we do? Yeah. We brag to each other yeah. about going to Harvard yeah. University, spending money. Meanwhile, the other kid that you're competing with didn't even pay. You paid, right? You pay into another bank. You're that, going far. I mean, do I have you're, to? You're going too far. The thing is, what about people inside of the country that are <laughs> arguing amongst themselves? What are you like, discussing? Hey, it's, it, and the reason why it has to be talked about this way is because it is embarrassing for you to give another man that much power. Well, if you tell me that you're so strong as an actor, I'm sorry, yeah. if you keep everyone who comes to America from another mm -hmm. country, mm -hmm. we're all great, right? We're able to fly our flags here in the United States of America proudly, right? Mm -hmm. Yet you criticize America. Have you been anywhere else trying to fly your flag? First of all, have you been anywhere try else trying this to fly is your flag? I want to make very clear. <laughs> try it. I never said America was a horrible place. I did mention it's heaven and hell, and it's the choice on what route you want to go to. Mm -hmm. What I will not paint to people that are not in this country is life is not all what they make it to seem like. Okay, so all cool. I'm saying is if you're wherever the part of the world you are in and your life is okay, 
and like my comment go off and that's a problem that's going on in most countries other than maybe America and all those other um, developed countries that's not to say that you're supposed to dra drag yourself and come to this place and start from ground zero which you might not even make it halfway to where you were that's all I'm saying I mean and I get that can I, say I don't can I disagree say with that. to the camera please please go ahead um, <laughs> A lot of times people like to blame the society or blame the system. And this is not, I'm saying it to the camera because it's not just an American thing, it's not just a Nigerian thing. Mm -hmm. We tend to say, oh well, let me use Nigerians for, for example. We like to say, oh well the government is corrupt. Government is corrupt. Nigeria is corrupt because the government is corrupt. But the government people are nothing but actors and actresses wearing suit and tie just like you and I. Mm -hmm. So this is the thing people understand. It's not even just about accountability. Understand that we're dealing with human beings. These people are just you in that position, doing what they're doing. When you get in that position, what do you do? How was how what happens? When I, I know most people that I talk to, when they get in those positions, they still just like everybody else is stealing. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> What are we really discussing okay, right now? Okay, now let me say something. What are we right? really talking about? Let me right say now? something. When and I'm going to back this up. Too. I'm going to back this up, right? Sure. I'm going to speak about the Americans I know. Right. 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 Multiple different Americans. Mexican-American, Filipino-American, whatever the case may be. For the most part, right, mm -hmm. if I found something, mm -hmm. right, and I said, this is yours, mm -hmm. the ones I know, majority of the time will say, that is not mine. Usually, from what yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There is more merit in America, from what I've seen. Mm -hmm. There's more honesty in America, to, almost to a fault. Integrity. Integrity, to a fault, right? Mm -hmm. I am not saying... Yeah, to a fault, really. You, to a like, real. when, when, when an American is going to tell you the problem, yeah, they tell you everything. For real. Right? For real. And you're like, okay, bro, you can kind of calm down. For real. I'm telling, not telling saying, too much of the truth. Okay, I am not saying it is not the same everywhere else. Right. What I am saying, though, is yeah. maybe it is because of what our world has done to their world. Right? Right. Maybe it's because of what we created in their world. Yeah. It could be a fact. It mm -hmm. probably is the fact, right? Mm -hmm. But the truth is, because of that survival, it also brings out that demon in people. Yes. Overseas, yes. Right? Yes. Which is understandable because if you put people in a tough spot here, yeah. people also become wolves. Yeah. All I keep saying though is, I hope Americans pay attention to the role we play as Americans mm -hmm. in helping the rest of the world. You yeah. can help the rest of the world by Buying things you need and not what you want. Mm -hmm. Chief, if you know the amount of waste yeah. just in one restaurant We're trying, compared to yeah. 100, yeah. Any, it's real. When we eat, when you go to Carl's Jr., mm -hmm. they ask you, what do you want to drink? Do you want small, medium, large, extra so large, large. super size? And you know what we usually go for? The biggest one possible. Yeah. And you know, and you know. It's usually what we do. The medium look, medium look like large these exactly. days. Exactly. You know, so it's, it's, it's. I do not want to paint America as this innocent place because trust me, bruh, I'm a black man in this country. Yeah. I will say though, if you play your role, and in comparison to Las Vegas and America, right? America's Las Vegas is a place where if you play your role, you can come out. You can come. You can yeah. come out. Yeah. If you go yeah. to, I don't bet in Vegas because I ain't trying to lose. Yeah. I don't bet in America because I ain't trying to lose. You ain't gonna beat the house. The house is designed for you to lose anyway. Yeah. 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 So me knowing this, right? Right. I do not drive a car eighty thousand dollars worth. And stop blaming the system if I lose it. No, yeah. because in America, I can go on Craigslist mm -hmm. and I can find somebody selling his car for $3,000 and I can drive this same car for eight years if I know my role. Yeah. If I close my eyes and stop and start yeah. and start ignoring yeah. Kim Kardashian, right? Yeah. And trying to live her life. Mm -hmm. This happens everywhere else. Mm -hmm. But this so is when you don't know your role. Okay, this is what I wanted to say. You can go to Finland. I want to say this. You can't. No, no, you can't. Yeah. Just let me just say this real quick, because I agree with what you're saying, and I, I'm I'm not going anywhere. But you can go to Finland, you can go to these places, and you actually could live a, a good quality life. Mm -hmm. It's very possible. Possible. I'm not saying that you can't go to Nigeria, you can't go to this place and live a high quality life, or you can't enjoy life. But this is just something I want everybody to understand. If you ain't left, if you don't know, if you don't understand, I would advise you to do number one, do research. Mm -hmm. Understand where you're at to begin with. Understand where you're going. Understand your place in society, mm -hmm. in your place. Because I really, I really think that a lot of people just frustrated at the moment, 
and they're just talking out their neck. They don't really understand what they're actually verbalizing and saying. That you want to leave the United States. I don't know if you understand the implications of that. Of our, no disrespect, I love Brazil. Brazil has Zika virus right now. Water is not drinkable at this moment right now. You're talking about Brazil. Didn't you live in Nigeria? Before? Okay, sorry. And again, it could this be is, because okay. of what these other nations did yeah. in colonizing us. I yes. understand There's that. always two sides, but that I want to make why. sure people understand that. There's, of course. You, there is still an opportunity. There are people that have left the United States and went to Norway, and they're, they're fine. But you understand what that all entails, though, for yourself. Don't just say, okay, I'm going to Norway or go to Finland. And no. the reason why it's important to discuss this is because it has become too easy for us to villainize the United States of America without taking responsibility as citizens of the country. Mm -hmm. It's just a fact. Because you can go to Norway, you can go to all these other countries that mm -hmm. are great. At the end of the day, right, everything, whether it's money or not, has to do with trade. If you have something worth discussing, if I can make eggs and you can make bacon, mm -hmm. we can sit down and have a discussion. Absolutely. If you don't have bacon, I can sit down with you and make eggs for you the first day. Yeah. The second day, the third day, I'm like, yo, B, what's cracking? What's going on? Because this egg is costing me something. For it real? It happens everywhere else. Yeah. I'm going to keep exaggerating and, and emphasizing the point that America Sorry. does it. America's greed is kind of to the max with everybody involved. Mm. Every citizen involved. Yeah. That's all the way it works. I was going to say, that's the, that's that's the, 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 that's the brainwashing because that's where we come from. That's what you, that's what mm -hmm. you see. You don't see help and be mm -hmm. of, which goes back to the original thing. Of service. Of culture. Mm -hmm. You know, when you have exactly. culture, you have a village, you have, you know, a chief, or somebody at the head, and they're mm -hmm. going to trickle down, and then you have your role. Mm -hmm. Like, America, that, that's not the step. Because I think, I think set up. <laughs> maybe we can conclude. Yeah. I, I will say, I will really honestly say, maybe it's just because I've, I, I mean, I lived in Nigeria, I've gone to London multiple times, mm -hmm. I've been in Amsterdam, I've been in Germany, mm -hmm. I've been. I've seen places, right. I've seen life, I've been to France, I've been to places. Um, America is a very touchy subject. America mm. is a very unique nation. Mm -hmm. America is tough. America is hard. Maybe because I'm that proud to be an American, I do believe you're a servant first, right? You have to be responsible first because I cannot allow myself to file bankruptcy and be mad mm -hmm. that a rich person is able to file bankruptcy. We're doing the same thing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Is there unfair treatment in the United States of America? Absolutely. Unfair treatment it everywhere. exists everywhere else, mm -hmm. just to be honest with you. Um, I think because I think this country is that great, I think a lot of people are realizing America is America's flaws because, like you said, in 1992, America had a lot of money, so everybody was able to play. Are we entitled, do you think? Of course we're yeah. entitled. Mm -hmm. yeah. You know, because a lot of people will say, in England, they give them free health care. There's been free health care in America since I've been here. Because if you don't have a job, you can walk into a hospital, you get Medicare, and you get treated. You get an EBT card, it's a fact. You get living. Is it always fair? Absolutely not. Again, especially for the African American in this country, it has not been great, based on what I've seen. I do fire protection, I walked into a Lancaster Youth Center. There's a jail. All I saw was 90% black kids, and I'm like, there's no possible way in hellfire that these kids are just bad kids. There's no way. There's just no way. But when I go to Brentwood, I know what I see. Yeah. Great schools. Yeah. You know, so America is absolutely unfair. But it's the same way when I go to VGC and I go to Ajigunle in Nigeria. Yeah, exactly. It's the same exact thing. Yeah. There's always nice and bad. Yeah, yeah. As an American, I truly believe if I was the president of the United States of America, the first thing that I would recommend, the first thing that I will, I will, I will put in place is every American between the age of 16 and maybe 23 has to experience actual life mm. outside of America. For and you ain't going, you're going to experience everything from the luxuries to the more of the common man's day to day life. When you come back to America, you will realize it is no different here. The only difference is our perspective of culture and the rest of the world. We don't realize how much we take mm -hmm. from the rest of the world. We take a lot. And our job is to be of service to the rest of the world because America is the money making capital. Money the rules resources. Earth. Money rules earth. Everywhere you say you want to go, they use money as well. <laughs> Whatever country, America is gauged, you know, so I think as an American, your responsibility, your passport is probably one of the greatest things on earth. And that is your job to be of service to the rest of the world and give because you take a lot and you have a lot. And in life, all you really need is the bare necessities. Mm -hmm. 
you know, but we buy a lot of things that we want instead of what we need. So as an American, I'm proud to be an American because my responsibility, I know, is to give back to the rest of the world and my fellow Americans. Well, as an African woman, living in America, I the other things I love about America, and that aspect is the time for me, that goes to the aspect of freedom, that goes to the aspect of organization, rules and regulations in place, policies that people can apply by. Um, but I wouldn't really say I'm proud to be an American because, one, I'm black living in America, and my life story is completely different from the white person living in America. So I'm happy to be living in America because I know that whatever decisions I make is going to better me. The choice is mine. I can either go to hell or heaven. The system is built for you to fail, but you have to learn the system and know how to get over the damn system. Um, but other than that, to those that are in other countries, I always say this. Sometimes people paint this picture that America is a great land to come to and life is going to be gravy. It is the land of the opportunity, but if your life is comfortable, and I mean comfortable, you're not on the poverty line whereby you don't even know if you're going to eat today or where to sleep. And you're given the opportunity to come here, that's a different case. But if your life is comfortable, I mean, you're educated and all of that, and you're an adult, for example, coming here, you're starting from ground zero. That's just the reality of it. Your education is not going to be, it's, it's not going to be accepted, just so you know that there's a lot of things that plays into it. So just be prepared for that if you do decide to come to this country. It's not easy. As People paint it when they go back home because you have those that pretend to make it seem as if America is all that. It's not all that. Um, but is it, a, is, is it a place whereby the opportunity is available? Yes. But are you going to access it very easily when you come? No. You're looking at years and things of that nature. So that's all I have to say. Well, I, um, I learned a lot. <laughs> I mean, being an American uh, all my life, and I haven't lived in other countries, but I've visited. Um, I can definitely say I'm, there's things about this country that I enjoy, um, but I definitely would much rather like make money here and live somewhere else because it goes farther, you know, than here. It, it, it's a harder road um, if it's if you're an immigrant, if you've been here your whole life. I feel like we catch when when people when foreign people come here, they catch up with us. <laughs> Because, you know what I mean? Like, we, we roll in, you know, especially us African-American people. Um, but I definitely say, like, the unfortunate thing about the country that I live in is where it came from and how it came about. So when I go other places, I can feel it, you know. It's like, you know, being, I always say being a black woman in another country they look at me like, I'm so sorry. Like, like, do you need something? You know what I mean? Even like the little villages or little like shops I might go to. It's like, wow, you know, like, you know, are you okay or whatever? You're so beautiful, whatever they say. And in my own country, I'm looked at like, you know, hurry up and buy. You know what I mean? Kind of thing. So, um, but definitely I'm, I'm proud, as proud as my country is of me, like I said, from John. Um. Around the world, you have a lot of poverty. You have a lot of sickness. You have a lot of frustration. Things are things are not great worldwide. You know the fact that America is going through things lets you know that the, the world is not necessarily in the greatest place yet. At the same time, the world is also in a very good place. At the same time, it's a good time for change. Hopefully, the change is good. The reason why I'm saying all of this is we can focus on a lot of negative things about about America. We can sit here and talk about the negative things about other places as well too. Those things are not going away. The reason why I do say I'm proud of America is because of the positive things that America has to offer. Because I can sit here all day and talk about how I'm not even looked at as a full human being at the time. Wow. How I have to make sure that when I'm driving every single time, mm -hmm. my heart is beating when I see a police officer drive by. Even if I have all my papers, everything is, is correct. And, and, you know, so I can focus on that or I can focus on the, on the great things that America has to offer. As Americans, we can collectively focus on the great things that America has to offer to make America not only better, but other places that we're complaining about to be better because we do have those resources. We do have the money. We do have the intelligence. We do have the intellect. Mm. And we do mm. have the brains from all these people from all over the world who have gone to America. So let's bring, let's take that, as he said, and bring it back. Because I can sit here all day and get mad and get frustrated and, and focus on how 
that America is um, in, its, in, in its various ways. But then you don't want to go to Palestine. You don't want to go to some of these other places. It's cracking off in other places. But I'm not going to sit here and focus on these other places. That's not, you know, I'm not going to sit here and focus on all the negatives. Because I can't. I could, but it's not going to do no nothing to anybody no better. So I guess to, to close is... I just urge every one of you, if you're if you're from Trinidad, if you're from some other place, if you're from wherever, you know, I think it's we'll take it to another level because America is is, is a part of the, the the greatest brain drain of the brain drain mm -hmm. of the world. Let's undrain that and give it back out. Mm -hmm. And those people that those of you that are watching this that are that you're watching this in not just for any reason. Those of you who are watching this are interested in bettering yourself, learning, and growing. So let's apply that to life. Let's grow let's get better let's come together you know we're talking about language and connect with one another let's not shy away from what brings us together let's not shy away from us as, especially us as black people mm -hmm. and minorities let's not shy away from what is truly us mm -hmm. and what we what we truly love because at the end of the day the things that we're running away from the things that we truly love to do that's why we do them mm -hmm. we enjoy doing them it's a part of who we are but we yet we run away from it so and, and that and that particular example can be applied to anything mm -hmm. so if you are someone of any group you know it's about us coming together you know what I'm saying it's about us coming together and understanding that whatever we have we can utilize that there's two the, the world is too big uh, human beings are not even God to every Part of the world. Yeah, he's driven from here to freaking to up north. Okay. You see this amount of space. This is a lot. Of, we got a world, you know. Yeah. So I just just to call. I'm I'm going long, but I really urge everybody to utilize your resources and and, and take share, share 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 information. Sharing is caring. Information information <laughs> information information because information, a lot of y'all that are getting fresh and trying to leave, you probably don't have all your information. I guarantee you that. <laughs> but if you do have information, share information, learn and keep growing. Amen. APT, House of Commons, American also. Function, punch out.